In the quiet moments before dawn, when the world is draped in the soft hues of anticipation, there's a sacred opportunity waiting to be embraced. Imagine waking up each morning with a heart filled not just with consciousness but with gratitude, a gratitude that transcends the mundane and taps into the divine. I am going to release a very powerful prayer for you in the matchless name of Jesus Christ. Kindly watch till the end. Believe and open your heart to receive the blessings that comes with this prayer. The Bible teaches us that each day is a gift from God, and within the folds of that gift lies the power to transform our lives. Scripture whispers to us in Psalm 118 verse 24, This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. These words hold a profound truth that extends beyond the pages of ancient texts. They beckon us to recognize the beauty in every sunrise, the promise in every dawn. But how do we practically infuse our mornings with gratitude? Consider the ordinary miracles that surround you, the warmth of sunlight breaking through your curtains, the gentle rhythm of your heartbeat, the breath that fills your lungs. Each of these is a testament to the Creator's love, a silent symphony of grace. By acknowledging these simple gifts, you begin to unwrap the present that is today. Imagine a woman named Sarah. Every morning, as the aroma of freshly brewed coffee wafts through her kitchen, she pauses to thank God for the simple joy of a new day. Sarah, like many of us, faces challenges and uncertainties, but by starting her day with gratitude, she shifts her focus from the burdens to the blessings. Proverbs 3 verses 5 to 6 encourages us to trust in the Lord with all our hearts and lean not on our own understanding. In the tapestry of daily life, Uncertainties are woven alongside certainties, creating a rich blend of experiences. When we wake up with gratitude, we choose to trust in God's plan, even when the path ahead appears unclear. Consider John, a man who found himself in the depths of despair after losing his job. Instead of succumbing to despair, he turned to Philippians 4 verses 6 to 7, understanding that by presenting his anxieties to God with thanksgiving, he could experience a peace that transcends understanding. In the midst of his struggle, John learned to thank God for the lessons hidden within adversity. As we navigate the challenges of life, gratitude becomes a compass guiding us through the storm. When the waves of uncertainty crash against the shores of our existence, we can find solace in Psalm 46 verse 1, knowing that God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. By waking up with gratitude, we align our hearts with this truth, finding strength in the midst of chaos. Consider the story of David, a young shepherd boy anointed as king. David faced insurmountable odds, yet he chose to magnify the Lord rather than his problems. In Psalm 34 verse 1, he declares, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. David's gratitude was a resounding declaration of faith, an anthem that echoed through the valleys and mountains of his life. In our own lives, gratitude becomes a melody that transforms our mornings into a symphony of praise. Whether you find yourself in a season of abundance or scarcity, waking up with gratitude positions your heart to receive the blessings that flow from the Creator's hand. Consider the parable of the talents in Matthew 25 verses 14 to 30. Each morning is an opportunity to invest the talents of time, energy, and love that God has entrusted to us. By waking up with gratitude, we cultivate a mindset that seeks to multiply these gifts, recognizing that even the smallest acts of kindness can yield a harvest of joy. Meet Emily, a teacher who starts each day by thanking God for the privilege of shaping young minds. In the quiet moments before her students arrive, she reflects on Ephesians 2 verse 10, understanding that she is God's workmanship created in Christ Jesus for good works. Emily's gratitude becomes the catalyst for a day filled with purpose and impact. Gratitude is not just a fleeting emotion but a transformative force that reshaped our perspectives. In Colossians 3 verse 17, we are reminded, and whatever you do, in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through Him. From the mundane tasks to the monumental achievements, Gratitude infuses each moment with a sacred significance. Imagine waking up with gratitude as your constant companion, a loyal friend that accompanies you through the ebb and flow of life. As you step into the canvas of a new day, 
Remember the words of 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 18, Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Gratitude is the gateway to a life aligned with God's will, a key that unlocks the fullness of joy in every season. In conclusion, the dawn of each day holds a divine invitation, an invitation to rise with gratitude, to thank God for the breath in your lungs and the beating of your heart. In this act of thanksgiving, you embark on a journey of transformation, where ordinary moments become extraordinary blessings. As you navigate the tapestry of life, let gratitude be your guiding star, illuminating the path with the radiant light of God's love. So, dear friend, when the first rays of sunlight gently kiss your face tomorrow morning, open your eyes with a heart full of gratitude. Embrace the gift of today, knowing that within its unfolding moments lies the opportunity to experience the boundless grace of a loving Creator. Thank God every morning and wake up with gratitude, for in gratitude, you discover the true richness of life. Mark 11 verse 24 says, Therefore I say to you, whatever things you ask when you pray, believe that you receive them, and you will have them. Join me as we go to the Lord in prayer. Open your heart and believe so that the blessings of this prayer will come to you. Say this prayer with faith. Dear Heavenly Father, we humbly come before you today. You are the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You, the Lord, you created the earth and the heavens and all that is in them. I give you all the praise and glory. Thank you, God, for everything you have done in my life. I'm grateful for the good things and even the tough times. You've been with me through it all, and for that, I say thank you from the bottom of my heart. God of mercy and compassion, please look with pity on me. I know I have sinned against you. I ask for your forgiveness. Father, Lord, have mercy on my mistakes and failures. Every mistake I have done in word, action, and deeds, Father, forgive me. For your word clearly says in 1 John 1 verse 9, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for forgiving me. Now in the name of Jesus, I declare the power of God against any work of the enemy. Every secret agenda the devil and his cohorts have plotted against me be destroyed in Jesus' mighty name. Father, your word said Christ was manifested that the works of the enemy might be destroyed. Every work of the enemy against my marriage, my job, my business, my career, my family, and children be destroyed in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' name, I declare fruitfulness in every area of my life. Let the power of Christ touch my life so I bear fruit. I am fruitful in my life, in my ministry, in my marriage, in my business, in my career, in my job, and in my finances, for the Lord gives us power to make wealth. Let prosperity be my portion in Jesus' name. I will not lack, but have an abundance. Lord, I want to serve you with all my heart. Anything that hinders my service, Father, deliver me. God, save me from myself. Save me from people who will not lead me to you. Save me from desires which are not godly, things which are not in line with your word. Father, help me obey your word. Sometimes the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Lord, make me strong, make me fervent in you. Restore unto me, Lord, the joy of my salvation. Father, restore all the things I have lost, either by my ignorance or carelessness. You said in your word that the years the locust has eaten in our lives, you will restore us. Thank you, Lord, for restoring me, my family, my marriage, my career, and my ministry. Father, you sent forth your word to heal our diseases and sicknesses. I declare your healing from the crown of my head to the soles of my feet. Father, heal my family, friends, and loved ones. Let your healing be their portion too. I boldly declare that I am a child of God. I walk in victory through faith. I am the head and never the tail. I am what God says I am in Jesus' mighty name. I boldly declare Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He mocketh me to lie down in green pastures. He letteth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He letteth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yeah, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. 
Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Thank you, my Father God, for hearing my prayer and answering my prayer. Amen. As this message has blessed you, type the word Amen in the comment section and share with us your testimony too in the comment section. In the name of Jesus Christ, all these blessings have come upon you now. Beloved, help us spread the gospel of Christ and reach more people all over the world by liking this video and sharing this message with your family, friends, and loved ones. We really appreciate your great support. We plead with you to subscribe so you can receive more videos that will revive your spirit and uplift your life. Christ came that all people will be saved. If you have not accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior, this is the right time to do so. Say this after me. Lord Jesus, I know that I am a sinner and because of me, you came to die on the cross of Calvary. Father, forgive me of all my sins. Today, I boldly declare that you are my Lord and personal Savior. Come into my heart and lead me. As you have said this prayer, congratulations you have been born again. Please look for a pastor in a Bible-believing church and tell him you have given your life Christ. You will need to fellowship with other believers to learn about your new life. Prayer is a very powerful tool God has given us. With prayer our problems receive solution and we get comforted by God. Please leave your prayer request in the comment section. We are constantly interceding on your behalf before God. Trust me friends, our God will answer your every prayer request. Sometimes we may not reply to your prayer request in the comment section, but that does not mean we are not praying for you. We have you at heart and your requests. May the grace of our Jesus Christ and the love of God be with you now and forevermore. Amen.